Hello everybody, welcome back to Channel DOS here, and welcome back to this reaction. So, today we are going to be looking at the brand new trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League. It came out yesterday, and uh, on Valentine's Day, and I'm super excited. Um, I actually went to go see Justice League when it first came out in theaters, opening weekend, with a buddy of mine. We both had high hopes, we, we were both hoping that maybe it'd be good. Especially my buddy. My buddy was more of a DC fan, and he just wanted DC to be able to have, like, something good come out of it the only thing that that we had had up to that point was wonder woman really and uh unfortunately we both walked out of the theater disappointed and my buddy was just depressed because it just failed so hard for those of you who don't know uh justice league was a film by Zack snyder at the beginning but then he had to leave the production due to family emergencies so joss whedon ended up taking hold of the uh of the actual movie and changed a lot of stuff um so comic book fans like myself have been super excited and looking forward to the Zack Snyder cut I have no idea if I'm going to be reacting to it or not it was originally supposed to be four different like one hour episodes for the movie but now they're changing to just be one four hour length one so I don't know if I'll be able to react to it or not we'll have to see um if it was just a regular length movie I probably would be able to react to it but it's four hours, so I have no idea. Um, I've tried to keep myself spoiler-free from everything in this trailer. I know one thing that's happening, one thing that uh, that is showing up. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at this this beautiful trailer, shall we? All right, here we go. Let's see what this trailer has to hold for us, shall we? Oh yeah, from Batman vs Superman, we've got him dying. That's a different effect, though. That's weird. Lex Luthor. So it's gonna be this weird aspect ratio for the actual movie as well. Whoa. What the hell? The mascara. The mascara is falling. Whoa. Hey, Nightmare Batman. Almost like a premonition. Gal Gadot. Wonder Woman, ooh boy, dark side, nice. <gasps> ooh, oh, look at him. Look at Steppenwolf. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. I'm building an alliance to defend ourselves. Ooh, that's uh, that's ever looks a little bit weird, but it might be just a uh, fake like shot. Bring down the charging bull and don't wave the red cape. Yeah, morning, Superman. All the ships. Dark side's actually here. Whoa. Okay, so somebody. Oh, yep. That that was cut with Flash and an Iris. Find out what that reason is. Oh, a new fight scene with a black suit. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh. Of heroes will never come again. Holy crap! Oh, black suit Superman! No. It has to. Zack Snyder's Justice League. An we HBO Max original. In a society where honor is a distant memory. There he is. Batman. Joker. Dude, he looks so much better like that than his Hot Topic version in Suicide Squad. Holy crap. Okay, we gotta go through this again. I wanna take a look at Dark Side. So let's actually... Let's have this play at... Half the normal speed. I wanna see Dark Side. I want to see him. Okay, let's see. So... We've got the painting right there. We've got his armies, parademons and stuff. Alright, that looks like it's Steppenwolf. I forget her name, but she's uh, like the general, basically, of um, of Darkseid's army. Look at Darkseid. He looks really good. He looks honestly really, really good. Man. We saw Steppenwolf for a bit here without his helmet as well, right here. That looks kind of creepy. Um... 
I don't know. I don't know about that, about the head. It looks kind of weird, but it make it's like bone, so I'll probably get used to it. Um, he already looks better. Like, just, just like, at this, like... The actual like effects on him look better than they did in the original Justice League movie. We've got this is in the past the Amazonians fighting Dark Side. You can tell oh, he looks so much better. Like look at that, that that armor looks more alien. It looks so much different. His face looks a lot better. <coughs> I like this a lot. So there's obviously some shots that we saw in the actual movie. But we got some new ones as well. See, so everyone's been talking about that, as far as I can tell. The the shot here with, with Victor. From the background, it does look like it's the nightmare sequence. So I think what's, what's happening is um is this isn't how he's going to look. I think he's going to be more in a nightmare version. Because we've seen nightmare version Flash. And I think we've seen the suit that Cyborg is supposed to be wearing in the nightmare version. So I think this is just like a placeholder just so that they don't like spoil it or anything like that. Because you can tell like it's very rough. Like the see you can look at the seams, you can see how fake it is, you can see how off it is. So I don't think this is the final thing. I don't think this is what it's supposed to be in the action movie. I just think they're just saving it for the movie itself. We had that scene in the flash, we had this scene. So that's a bit different. Completely changed Steppenwolf. This brand new scene, this changed Steppenwolf. The hologram of Superman. So that is Superman then, because they're all looking at it. Because if we, if we go back, like they're all in casual clothes, so that is Superman. All of us thought this was Supergirl. Because I think it was rumored that Supergirl was supposed to uh, make some kind of appearance. So that that is Superman then. The guy everyone mourning and everything. I believe this is in the past as well. Yeah, this is absolutely in the past because this is a younger dark side because he doesn't have the amounts of armor and stuff. Oh, this is when they resurrect him. Okay, I see. Yeah, so we had that in the actual movie. So this is what they cut out with Barry and Iris, which I, I think we definitely need more for Flash and for Victor. Like, we need to we need their backstories. We need to know them as characters. Basically, that in the movie. So we have a a Superman's first flight 2.0, I guess, with him in his black suit, which looks amazing as hell. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that. Look at that. That looks so good. And then we have a, like the first flight for Victor as well. Oh man. Oh wait, wait, wait! I didn't even notice that. We had the Flash going to Victor right here. Why? Huh. Interesting. Step up in the mother box in Atlantis. We had this in the movie as well. Well, a version of this in the movie. Ooh, that look, wait, wait, wait. That that looked like it could have been like a flashpoint thing. Huh. We had this in the movie. Uh, Age of Heroes. So we have Atlan right here. With the actual trident and stuff, so. We've had this stuff in the movie. That's a bit different. That's different. Oh, black suit Superman. Oh, he looks so good. That suit looks so good. I'm so glad we're actually getting black suit Superman. That's a big thing in the comics. When once Superman dies from Doomsday, and he comes back to life. He's wearing a black suit. It's to like help absorb the radiation into his cells to make him full power again. It's to help with his recuperation from being alive again. And then this right here, this is what everyone's been talking about. This is the thing that I was spoiled on. So he, we live in a society, the whole Joaquin Phoenix one. We have Victor here, which is interesting. But look, we've got we've got Jared Leto Joker coming back. But look how good he looks. He doesn't have the stupid damage tattoo. He doesn't have all the weird tattoos. He looks good. He looks like an, like a Joker I can get behind. A nice long hair caked on makeup super like like caked on like mouth area like look at that cuts and everything like he looks like a joker that would fit the dc like the dc uh cinematic universe unlike the hot topic one we got in suicide squad like i'm kind of okay with with um with margot robbie's look in suicide squad um 
because we've we've had we've had like sim- similar looks in the comics for Harley Quinn before. Um, and then obviously, like we we got a changed look in Birds of Prey, which I actually haven't watched. I need to watch Birds of Prey, um, which was okay. Um, and then, but they paid homage. We got to see the original Harley Quinn outfit for, um, for Harley. So this is interesting. I'm really excited for this. This comes out really soon, I believe. This comes out March 18th, so in. A little bit over a month. So we are getting close to this being a thing. I'm super excited. I still don't know if I'm going to be doing a reaction to it or not. Just because it's going to be four hours long. What I could do is I might... I might se- my, my friend gave me the like the idea. I might separate into four different parts. Like an hour, an hour, and an hour. Um, and an hour. We'll have to see... Um, because regardless, this is going to be a hard thing to edit, but I do want to watch this and I do like the DC and with, with COVID and everything, it's given, it gives us the, us reactors, the opportunity to actually like make videos on this stuff. Cause usually you go and watch the movie in the theaters and then you give your review afterwards. So I'm excited for this. I, I'm a comic book fan. I like both Marvel and DC. When it comes to movies, I prefer Marvel, but DC is always like exceeded with animation they've they've always had like really good animated series they've had really good animated movies but the actual like like live action movies have always been rough for dc they've always been a hit or miss um the best ones that we'd gotten were the dark knight trilogy um they did pretty well with wonder woman with shazam and aquaman the wonder woman sequel was okay it was a little eh but like DC just really struggles with their movies, especially since like they don't make plans. With Marvel, they've had they had like a ten year plan, and now they have another ten year plan. Whereas with DC, they fly by the seat of their pants. So who knows? I'm hoping this is better than Joss Whedon's. I'm hoping the Zack Snyder cut is all that's hyped up to been. Uh, we've us fans have been asking for the Zack Snyder cut for for years since Just League first came out. So we're all excited. Uh, let me know what your favorite part of this trailer was down in the comments below. All right, and tell me, out of 10, what's your excitement level at? Mine's at an 8 right now, maybe an 8.5, but I'm pretty excited. Um, if you want to see if I actually do a reaction to this movie, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified if that video goes live. Uh, if you like this reaction, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And uh, I'll see you guys next video. And as always, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.